My name is Adrienne Slevin, and I've been a dental technician for 14 years, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Identica Hybrid with the new Colab 2017 software. The first thing we're going to start with is a full arch case, number eight, and we're going to use the articulator module. So we're going to start a new project by entering the type of restoration that we'd like to do. We're going to start with an anatomic crown on number eight. So select anatomic crown and then click on the tooth that you would like to scan for. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell the software that we're going to scan an adjacent tooth on number nine and number seven. So what we're going to do now is enter the antagonist teeth. So we'll start with 23 and we can just hold our mouse button down all the way across and it will continue to select all of the teeth that uh, we would like to scan for. So what we can do now is we will go down and select what type of articulator plate we're going to use. And I'm going to use a stratus articulator, which isn't on one of the lists, but it certainly isn't eliminated from what we can use. Um, we just do not have the plates in order uh, that are magnetic to snap onto the type of articulator that we're going to use for this. We can go with the uh, regular articulator plate, which I really like. It is, it will hold any type of articulator that you can imagine. All you'll have to do if you're going to use a Whitmix articulator with a tall pen is just remove the pen. Anything that fits inside this scanner, I have not found an articulator yet, can fit in here. Next, we're going to select our patient name, and you can certainly put your own clinic in as well. So we'll just start with a typical John Smith. And you can put in your technician name as well if you'd like to keep track of the uh, technicians that you have scanning for you. Now we'll save and scan. So this is our scan strategy setting. So we can choose between uh, flexible multi dies and our impressions. We're just going to stick with a um, model and make sure that we have our plate selected and confirm. And the software will uh, prompt us to put in the upper jaw. We will insert the model and hit auto scan. Now we'll get a preview of our arch, everything it's going to scan. I like to raise this arrow and then I won't have to trim anything later on. If you'd like to check what's behind the model, what you may be trimming off, you can just hit back, left, or right and make sure you're not trimming off any margins that may be important. So now we have an upper arch scan and we will examine our data to make sure everything that we need to design our crown is there on our contacts. One of the nice things about the software is that we can add scans. So if we feel that we need a little bit more data on any of our inner proximals, we'll just rotate the arch to the area that we see missing that is important. And we can take out anything that might be blocking. So we'll rotate that arch to look at the hole. We'll hit add scan. And what I like is that I can see that the camera, that the arm will turn it and rotate it into the camera view at exactly the same way I have it on the screen. Now when you zoom in, you can tell that it has completely captured all of the missing data that we had. We'll continue by hitting next. And we'll go ahead and take out the adjacent teeth. And we'll leave the prep in. This way the camera can get a clear view of the preparation. In the meantime, I like to put in my lower arch because I get two of these screw jigs. Okay, so now we, we will remove the upper jaw and place the lower jaw into the scanner and continue with next. We will raise the line so this way we don't have to trim later. 
Raising the line will also decrease the processing time by decreasing the amount of data that we have. Now we will examine the data and make sure that we have everything that we need necessary for our crown. And we'll continue by placing the articulator plate into the scanner. You'll see that the scanner has rotated in a way that we can place the articulator plate into it. If it has not rotated, do not place the articulator plate in. We'll put our models on to our articulator. So we'll place our articulator onto our plate, and don't worry, there is a coating on the articulator plate that allows the articulator to stay steady on the plate during the scanning process. We will continue by hitting next. Now we will remove all of the parts from the scanner. And hit next. And thankfully, there's a reminder to remove the plate from the scanner. So we will check the alignment of the preparation and the jaws. And what we're looking for is a modeled look on the bottom to show that both of the data from the left and the right screen have come together properly into a correct alignment. We'll hit next. And now we will use one point alignment to align the data on the bottom of the screen. So we'll place a point somewhere in the middle of the data. And in this particular case, it will be at the midline. We're looking for a modeled look on the bottom to show that both meshes are aligned. We will hit next and continue with the same process. One point on the left and one point on the right screen. If you place the models in the same orientation on the left and right screen, uh, they will quickly align easily with one point. We will check our alignment and continue by hitting next. Now we can edit our meshes, and if you did not raise the line, you can use the rectangular function to trim the base. Once you've pulled, dragged, and highlighted the base, you can delete it. And we'll continue by hitting next and allow the software to merge. Our models are now merged. We will finish by hitting next and exit the program. Thank you for watching this tutorial of the new Colab 2017 software on the Identica Hybrid Scanner.